Hello and welcome back to the Android alarm clock tutorial. Um, so I did a few things off camera. Um, I changed it to the Christopher, Christopher Hitchens alarm clock because I found that there isn't actually a lot of audio of um, Douglas Adams. But the uh, user interface is still the same. We have our um, time picker and we have our two buttons, one that turns the alarm on and one that turns the alarm off. I'm actually going to add one more thing. I'm going to add um, a text here, and that's just going to indicate whether um, it's off or on. So if I click this button, it'll say alarm set on, and if I click this button, it'll say alarm set off. So I'm just going to, um, did you set the alarm? and we'll just call it um, update text I guess <laughs> um, so that's good um, so this is our alarm and um, I've made a uh, sort of guide for what we're gonna be doing um, so here we are we're going to first make three Java classes one main activity, one receiver, and one ringtone service. So what the um, main activity is, is that it's going to um, have these two buttons, turn on the button, and turn, turn on the alarm, and turn off the alarm. And the alarm button has these steps that will, you know, send the broadcast signal to the alarm receiver. And what this will do is, um, all it does is send a signal to the ringtone service to um, start playing the sound of the alarm. And you're probably wondering, why do we need the receiver? Why don't we just send it immediately to the ringtone service? Um, and that's because this alarm receiver allows us to send something called a pending intent, which is different from a normal intent. So a normal intent will send um, a signal immediately. So if we say press a button, it, it can immediately start playing music. And this is good for, um, you know, apps that want you to, like, you know, play the radio um, or a song. You want to hear the song immediately. But for an alarm clock, you want to hear it sometime in the future, like an hour from now or Tuesday. So that's where the alarm receiver allows you to send a delayed intent. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're just going to um, do this first step right here. Um, the uh, it's just the alarm button. We're going to send. I think we'll try to get as much done as we can. It might take a while, but we're going to set the alarm manager, which um, set the alarm manager, which takes into account three things. One is the intent. Uh, which tells us which class to send the signal to, which is going to be alarm receiver. The appending intent, which um, is going to take input from a calendar or a time picker, so it tells us when um, you know we want to send the delayed pending intent, and the calendar time which we're going to provide. So let's get started. <laughs> um, and let's see if we have. It should be already pre-made. Yes, main activity is already made. Um, we have this floating action bar. You know what? I'm going to actually get rid of it because um, there's no real need for it. So it's floating action bar or fab. We're going to delete that and we're going to delete this. Okay, but we want the other toolbar and stuff because, you know, they're nice. Um, so first thing to do is we want to start, um, making our variables and we want to make a couple variables one we to make our alarm manager we want one thing first of course we want our alarm manager and we'll call it alarm manager I guess um, and we also want the time picker because we want to pick a time time picker and we'll call this alarm time picker that's good um, 
and we also want to we we'll want to update the view so we'll call this um, what did we call this thing here did you set the alarm we called it update text so of course we we'll want to update the text um, when we press a button and let's see what else do we need I think that's it so this is complaint that we can't so we want to create text no, we want to yeah we actually capital V there we are and now we can just import it so what you didn't see is I what happened con I just want to import the class there you are ah okay cool so um, and now what we want to do is okay, I'm not sure why I have to do this but we have to put this thing here this dot context who knows um, oh and we have to add it here so we have to have context I think this helps us make one instance but I don't know just gotta do it oh it seems to be not happy oh yeah because it has to be equal to this um, I'm not sure why I have to do this but it only if I don't do this on my other app um, it seems to not be happy so we'll just have to do that so first um, what we have to do is we want to um, initialize our um, time picker time picker and we called it alarm time picker and we will have to set that equal to time picker um, oops. and we'll find view by ID and we called it what do we call it our time picker this time picker with the capital P all right hmm that's weird can't seem to find it It's weird. Why can't we find this? Oh, right, because r dot id. There we are. Okay, cool. So we have initialized a time picker, and now another thing we need to do is actually what we want to do first. I want to initialize initialize our alarm manager because we have to do calendar stuff after the alarm time picker. So um, our alarm manager is called alarm manager with the underscore there you are and that's equal to alarm manager um, and we want to get a system service and which system service do we want we want the alarm service so now we set up our alarm manager and now um, we have to um, recording Oh hey, sorry about that. I had to stop recording for a little bit, um, but I'm back. So um, we have to initialize um, now our uh, our text update box, the thing that will tell us um, that we set our alarm clock or not. So we'll just call that alarm text view, I guess. Um, And what did we, oh, what did we, no, we call it update text. <laughs> and we call the find view, the ID, and what did we call it? I don't remember. We call it, ooh, we call it just update text with the underscore. Okay, and I just realized that we made these text boxes, but we actually want these to be buttons so we can press these alarm off, alarm on. So I'm just going to change that here. Yeah, and I'm going to move this down a little bit. Um, 50? Yeah, there we go. So this should be better. Um, so I just changed these to buttons. 
and um, I gave it a 50 density independent pixels um, below the time picker. Yeah, this is what it should look like. Um, so we have our update text box, we have our time picker, and our alarm manager. Um, and I'm going to start up, um, create an instance of a calendar, and that will start our pending alert. So, uh, what if I don't make a final? Not sure what will happen. Let me just import. Oh, it's already imported. Good. <laughs> um, so, what we have to do is make an on click listener. So, first thing you have to do is click on this button and let's see. Where do I need to put for the on click listener? I know it's here somewhere. What's well, clickable? That's odd, I don't see it. <laughs> um, on click. Awesome. So it should be here. Um, and we don't have it yet, but we will later. So let's make our on click listeners for our buttons. Um, what should we call this? Start alarm? Yeah, that seems reasonable. Um, initialize. So, first thing we have to do is initialize our buttons. So, that's going to be button um, find view by ID, and we call it start alarm did we? or maybe we call it alarm off? alarm no yeah we call it alarm on sorry <laughs> um, so we'll call this alarm on and so this will be the Start button, and this will be um, initialize the stop button. I didn't spell this right. Initial, initial, lies the stop button. Sorry, it's late. I'm getting a lot of errors, <laughs> lost spelling errors. Um, and then alarm off will be same thing, only off. And this will be alarm off. Um, so then we have to create an on click listener to start the alarm. And then same thing for this one, we have to create an on click listener. Um, to unset the alarm, or turn off the alarm, stop the alarm, or turn or undo a uh, alarm set. Um, okay, so I guess what I will start the on click listener. Um, I'll create those in our next video and then. What the on click listener do will, um, what it's going to do is at first it's just going to change this text here, and then we can work on the other alarms and stuff. So um, that's enough for this. I think we've created enough of the UI. Um, in our next video, we can start making like real code. <laughs> All right, see you guys later.